In this video we're going to show how to use the uh, cardiovascular risk calculator in PS Suite in order to help with chronic disease management. In order to get to that we need to go on the uh, record screen to the edit, then to the insert a calculated stamp line and then to CVD risk. This brings up a small uh, form to add uh, data relating to the patient. However, there are some background data that the system collects. Uh, this includes the total collect cholesterol, the HDL cholesterol, uh, a blood pressure record, uh, and whether or not there is uh, a history of smoking. When we've entered here, we can click on OK and move to the next form which is the actual visual of the values. Uh, if we've missed adding the uh, <coughs> inserting the, the calculated risk uh, part, we can do it again on this screen. So the lines are a toggle for male, female, uh, an age uh, one, which is picked up from the from the actual uh, demographics a systolic blood pressure posted from the chart, a total cholesterol uh, and uh, an HDL cholesterol. Now this screen is quite useful in demonstrating visually to individual patients what their risks are. For instance, let's say we started with a smoker. The risks at this age, 67, uh, with a good blood pressure and uh, these values for the cholesterol is that there is a 25% 10 year risk of developing coronary artery disease. Now if we just show them how what would happen if we quit the smoking it's down to 13%. We can do this uh, with the slider to move the blood pressure up so we can in indicate that high blood pressure does increase risk and cholesterol similarly if we can get the cholesterol down sorry the total cholesterol here we can get the total cholesterol down we can see the calculated risk dropping and if we can get the HDL up we can see that dropping so this is a very neat way of actually directly showing the patient uh, in a graphical sense uh, how our efforts at managing their problems can benefit them. Now once we've got all of this settled and the patient's numbers are fixed we can actually enter the stamp into the chart just by clicking on the stamp. And if we use our control W we can see what this shows. This shows in the chart the 10-year CVD risk at 13% with uh, some assumptions. This is in searchable, so it is important not to change this, otherwise searches may not work. This is quite a useful tool to help with chronic disease management, particularly with some patients who are more visually inclined. 